Hi everyone, it's Chenzo from Reality Art Pod here to talk about the challenge season 40, episode 7, titled Trust in Your Era. Last week, after an Era 4 daily win, Jenny and Josh won power, sending players into a dangerous dodgeball elimination, which saw Corey outsmarting Brad and Rachel using the Eye of the Tiger to eliminate John A. Before I dive in, I put a link in the description to my playlist where you can catch up on my previous recaps. If you like the content, consider liking and subscribing. It helps the channel out, but let's dive into it. The players get back to the house where Tina isn't scared of being a target with Darrell this week. Corey is annoyed still that he was sent into a elimination and has lost trust in era four. Rachel tries to make amends with Nehemiah and proposes an alliance, but he isn't happy with her because she just made him a target for the second time. Bananas is annoyed that Ryan is doing the least on his team and hasn't stepped up to be a target yet. In other news, it's Devin's birthday, so Tori dresses up like Bob Ross, and Ryan and Derek do a striptease drag performance, and this club has everything. Bare butts on TV, upside down twerking, and Devin and Michelle making out, hidden camera booty grab, and a roast from Caro Mario. They head to their daily challenge, which takes place on a tall skyscraper. They know instantly that they're obviously doing a heights challenge. Their challenge is called Leap of Faith, where four players from each team need to run off a helipad to grab a flag and unlock puzzle pieces. There are time penalties for missing or dropping flags, and a three minute time advantage for grabbing the more difficult red banner. When you jump, the other jumpers have to pull you up. Then the players who aren't drawn are working on the puzzles, with Era 1 being told that because they have four players, only one person will get to work on the puzzle, which doesn't seem very fair, but whatever. Bananas, Nehemiah, Laurel, and Aviv are drawn to jump for Era 2, Devin, Jordan, Tori, and Naya for Era 3, and Josh, Jenny, Theo, and Casey are picked for Era 4. Josh is first to jump, getting his flag, but the other players take a long time to pull him up, with a lot of commentary about him basically being heavy. Now why they gotta do that? Jenny and Casey get their flags, and Theo gets a flag and the bonus flag, Kylan and Michelle beast the puzzle, and Olivia doesn't really help. For Era 2, Laurel and Nehemiah get flags, and Johnny even gets the bonus flag. It all comes down to Aviv, who gets her flag despite being shorter, and Derek quickly solves the puzzle. Era 1 starts off on a bad note when Tina accidentally grabs two flags, giving them a five minute penalty. Darrell conquers his fear of heights and grabs his and a bonus flag. Rachel succeeds and Derek even gets his flag while severely wounded and limping still. Tina has to do the puzzle by herself, seeming to take a bit longer but getting it eventually. For error three, Devin gets the bonus flag and Naya, Jordan, Tori, and the puzzle makers work well to nail the rest. TJ announces that era four lost the challenge with era one in close third, so Michelle and Kylan will be seeing elimination, and era three has the fastest time so Jordan and Naya are winners and will decide between Tina and Darrell and Aviv and Nehemiah who will join them in elimination. Naya points out that she wants to help Kylan but also wants to be strategic and help her team. They head to the club where Olivia is newly sporting a gorgeous f bob and confesses that she's falling for Theo. They strategize. Corey wants to convince Naya to save Nehemiah, knowing that Kylan has already beat Darrell in elimination. Michelle shares that her brother has a brain injury and her being on the show has helped her to make her brother happy. That's nice. The Era 3 boys have tipsy drama because it's Devin's turn to volunteer to be the target, but if Michelle wins elimination, he doesn't want to volunteer and will blame it on Michelle's conscience. Naya tells Rachel that she wants to see underdogs succeed and Rachel is really putting in work to save her friends here. The deliberation is pretty tame with the players that are eligible asking for safety, and Tina feeling that it means a lot for her to be in Vietnam because she's Vietnamese, so it means a lot to her family for her to be there, really making the only actual point in the whole meeting. The next day, Jordan and Naya tell Tina that they're sending her into elimination, and she's really upset, hulking out and throwing her suitcase. She calls their move bad strategy and weak for ganging up on the weak team. Elsewhere, Bananas is talking smack about Ryan, basically calling Ryan lazy. Ryan confronts Bananas and says that Bananas has a golden spoon up his ass. Ryan brings up that Johnny used to send him into eliminations all the time and treat Ryan like he was disposable, which is fair and true. They get to the elimination where Jordan announces Darrell and Tina to face Kylan and Michelle. They'll be playing Boxster Phobia. They have to go through a tight maze of sliding pipes and plexiglass, memorizing numbers of an equation on the glass along the way. The first person to solve the math puzzle and unlock their button wins the elimination. Michelle and Tina are first. I'd give the advantage to Michelle, who's queen of puzzles. They get started and Tina squeezes into the maze first, with Michelle really seeming to struggle at first with her pipes. Michelle gets out of the maze first, but seems to mess up her math, allowing Tina time to catch up and get to the lock. This elimination is stressful to watch because anyone could win at any time, and Michelle eventually gets it right, eliminating Tina. So we have to say goodbye to Tina here. This one is really sad, with her being one of my favorites of all time. She came into the season really looking better than ever, and with prime silly personality. She really delivers, being super performative every time she's on camera. She joins Era 1, a team that wasn't doomed to fail because the format seemed to be designed for the players to be naturally incentivized 
tries to target other strong players and not send weaker competitors into eliminations, but with the vacation alliance of it all, it really just ends up with players like Tina being shuffled out early. While she didn't get super far this season, she at least had memorable moments and beat Emily in that elimination. This showing is something she should be super proud of, and I hope we see her again soon. Tina for traders. Next up are Kyland and Darrell. I'd give the advantage to Kyland because he's excellent with math and under pressure. As we saw last season, Derek K even says they nicknamed Kyland the calculator. They get started, and while Darrell gets out of his box first, Kyland is doing math while he's going through the box. Kyland quickly solves the equation when he gets to his lock, winning the elimination and eliminating Darrell. So we lose Darrell here, who, like Tina, put up a good fight, being one of the stronger representatives from Era 1. For the most part, he was the greatest hits of himself, and it all really came to a climax this episode with him facing his fear and completing his first ever heights jump, walking away with a big moment to make his family proud. He had the misfortune of going against Kyland in a math elimination, so he was pretty doomed here, but he's an all-time great of the show, and I do hope we can get a win one of these days from him because he remains in excellent shape. Following the eliminations, Kyle and Michelle pick targets for next week, with Derek and Rachel being the only players left for Era 1, and obvious nominees, Kara and Derek are picked for Era 2, with Ryan being safe and pissing bananas off again. When it gets to Era 3, Devin doesn't volunteer, and Corey is picked and is pissed, and Avery volunteers. For Era 4, Jenny is picked again, and we have another pissed person on our hands, and Theo volunteers. It looks like we're in for some good matchups next week. I'm very concerned about Derek's leg. I feel like eventually Derek is going to get swapped out for CT. Because reasons. Is it just me, or are we plowing through this season really quickly? In seven episodes, they've nearly eliminated half of this 40-person cast. So I struggle to see how they're going to make it to 19 episodes like last season, but I'm ready for a change. What about you all? Let me know in the comments how are you feeling about the season, and what did you think of the episode, and Darrell and Tina's departures. If you like the content, consider liking and subscribing. I'm also covering Survivor Season 47 and Big Brother 26 right now, so I'll be back tomorrow with more content. Until next time, have a nice weekend. Bye!